tonight? Yeah, but I think we always want to win, of course, but the pleasing thing was a lot of the guys came through it. It's never going to be easy for them. Um, a lot of the, the younger ones who have had no experience, some were very little, some of the guys who have not been with us for a long time. So, um, but I was I was pleased with them. I th- you know, it was more more important they 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 got the taste what it was like against another international team, especially a team that have qualified. Of course, you know, all due respects to Panama, um, we've probably played stronger opposition, uh, but respect to them, you know, at the World Cup for nothing. Uh, but it was all about. You know, blood in a lot of the young ones because probably you've got another 12 months before it all kicks off again. We've only got the China Cup in March, uh, three games there. So, you know, they've got to find experience somewhere. Uh, and these are the games where uh, where we've got to throw them in. But uh, I was pleased with them. Do you get a sense that tonight we got a glimpse of what the Wales team is going to look like two, three years down the line? These are the players we got. You know, there's, you know, we say all the time as an international manager, we. It's pointless just going to scout, scouting in other countries, looking for gems. That the gems are coming through our system. These are the players we got. Um, these are the players we concentrate, concentrate on, work hard on, um, support, give them a pathway, uh, and they will come through. I'm convinced of that. They'll add to the squad. They'll add quality. Uh, so uh, you know, I'm, I'm pleased with uh, what I've seen in this last ten days. Sorry. Standouts. I thought they all done very well. It's a tough game, you know. <laughs> Our front boys found it difficult in the last year because Pan- the Panama lads, typical South American defending, no nonsense, close the space, weren't afraid to kick us, no complaints, you know, that's just the way they do their work. So it was a different type of game for Woody, for Ben Woodburn and for David Brooks, Tom Lawrence. They're probably not used to um, defenders doing that to them. They normally get a bit more space, but they didn't get that tonight. Anytime they was in a bit of danger, uh, for Panama, they close the space down, so we had to do things a bit quicker than we were doing it. Uh, but overall, no, I was pleased. It was a great experience for them. The fans are singing your name throughout. Has it, has it been quite emotional? Like, <sighs> it's a funny one because I don't know what's going to happen, you know. But huge, huge thank you to to the you know these are our core fans. These are our fans that in the first twelve or eighteen months, um, of my experience here, the same fans were here. They didn't really like me very much then, uh, <laughs> um, but it's great, you know. They, I didn't mind because they're the only fans that showed up for us. Nine, ten thousand people here. Um, I didn't mind them booing because at least they paid the money to come and support their their country, and they're still doing it. So huge thank you to them. Uh, it was nice they were singing my name. I appreciate that. Uh, so I don't know. I hope that's not, you know going to be the last game I don't know if I'm honest with you um, like I said we needed to get this camp out of the way and I'm quite sure pretty quickly um, of course it's public my, my situation so uh, I hope it's resolved pretty you know sooner rather than later could talk start as early as this week yeah I think they will do I think they will do and have you thought about what happens if you don't stay on as well as have you got a plan if, I, if I don't stay on I'm going to be joining a long list of other managers out of work um, looking for new employment. Um, there's only two scenarios. I'm either going to be here or I'm not. How quickly I'll go to another club, I have no idea. Um, but, you know, football 24 hours is a long time in football. So I'm absolutely, I'm sitting there with no idea what's coming. But your message to the, to the fans will be that you want to stay? I, I think I've already said, if everything is right. Um, you know, and if, if it's not me... Um, and it's someone else. I think you get that feeling that the squad of people we got, and I say the squad of people, not just the players, the the staff. You know, they they're always going to be here. We're all always going to be here for Wales in some capacity because of what we've experienced. So whether we're actually employed or not, it's, Wales has been such a big part of our life in the last five or six years. It's been everything really. So you can never. You can never just wash that away, no matter where we go, because we won't, it won't last forever. You know, it's, that's football. You th- things come to an end, but you're always going to have that connection with each other and with the nation because of what we've all experienced. You know, so. Um, but like I say, I don't know. With next 24, 48, next week, who knows what's going to happen? I don't know. I feel like you with the players tonight. Have you, have you said anything in the dressing room? Yeah, I said 
I'll tell you what I said. I said it was, it was been an absolute pleasure if this is my last experience with them. They've been a pleasure um, because we've been through a lot. Um, so, you know, I can remember sitting here for the Costa Rica game, my first game. Or was it my first game? I think that's been taken away from me now. But uh, it was my first game when I lost it. Uh, and then I'm sitting there six years later, incredible experiences, um, bonds and friendships that will never be broken, you know, and like it's all about the players, it's all down to the players, incredible bunch, fantastic, um, and they'll, they'll keep going, they'll go on, they'll keep achieving because they're all at a good age, um, and I think there's, a, there's still a little hangover because uh, we got, you know, we got beaten the last game and we never got to the playoffs we're not going to Russia that's going to burn for a while that. that's going to hurt for a while I'm still hurt and we're all still hurting over that but that'll subside that'll, that, that, you know, that'll move on uh, and once we, we get start getting closer to the next challenge that's when it all starts to kick off again and that's where this place will be absolutely jumping and buzzing again um, we'll have that to look forward to we haven't got it at the minute it's somewhere in the distance we're still hurting because of last month uh, but it's right it should hurt like that because you know that's it tells you how much it, it means to everybody. Chris, it's been reported that you're open to a job overseas in Southern Europe or, or just Europe in general, really, to fulfil your ambition of managing a Champions League club. Can, can you shed any light on whether this is the case? I've said that for a long, long time. I mean, I've, got, I've got experience of working abroad. I enjoy working abroad. Um, you know, it broaden, certainly challenged me as a, as a coach, if you like, and as a manager. Um, made me better, I think. And I've said, to manage in the Champions League, I'm not going to get Champions League through managing a club in the English Premier League. I'm going to get a big top six club. That's, you know, and you know, that's not going to happen. But yeah, it could happen with a club abroad, maybe a, in a in a league where I've got a chance to take a club and finish one or first or second. If I got a chance to do that, because Champions League football is something before I. I hang my boots up if you like. I'd love to sample Champions League football as a manager. You know, I want to do that. I'm ambitious. You have to be. But the more, like I said, I'm not. There's a handful of managers that can choose their jobs. I'm not one of them. So I know how how tough the industry is. I know how much you need to value when you're in employment, uh, because you never know when you're going to be out of it. In five or six games, you can be out of it. Simple as that. So, like I've just said, I've no idea where the future is for me. Um, We'll have to wait and see, but of course, to manage overseas is not something that uh, that would worry me or something I turn my nose up at. That's something that would definitely interest me if the you know when the time is right. Chris, are there any leagues in Europe that really attract you more than any others? I think there's the, we, we, the stronger leagues than others, of course, the Bundesliga, um, the Spanish league. Um, you know, obviously they're they're very strong. Italian league. But these leagues are very, very tough to, to, if you're a British coach, these leagues are tough to get employment. Um, so, uh, you know, I wouldn't hold my breath, but uh, we'll have to wait and see. You said, Chris, about your Italian players, if it's your last experience, it's been a pleasure. What sort of reaction back from the players did you get in there? Yeah, they've, I've, I've got, uh, as I've just mentioned, you know, we've formed strong bonds, you know, in the dressing room. And, um, so, yeah, they're, they're fabulous. They've given me a great reception. Um, They've been, uh, they are a joy to work with. Um, but again, like I said, they're, they're suffering at the minute. I know they are, because we never quite got to where we wanted to be. I think if we hadn't done what we did last campaign, then we would have gone, do you know what? Yeah, that was good because we're getting closer. But having experienced what we've experienced, it wasn't enough in the last campaign, so that hurts. Um, so we know we've got to do a bit better than what we've done, which they can and they will, I think. But uh, they, they've, they've been great. Uh, and they, they give me a fantastic reception. Well done, Gunter, as captain tonight, Chris? Chris, yeah, brilliant. 85 caps. Um, fit in as well to equal uh, speeds. Um, another great servant for Wales. Great man. Um, so it's great for Gunts. Um, and it coincided. I probably would have, even if Asher played, um, I probably would have said, look, Chris deserves to, to lead the team out tonight with that type of... Uh, you know, 85 caps is brilliant, and countless consecutive caps. It's in the 50s, I think. You know, so long. You know, 60s is it? Yeah, phew, unbelievable. Not many players have done that. He'll go on, and he'll he'll, he'll be north of 100. He'll be the first outfield player to do that. 
Uh, and it couldn't happen to a to a, to a better guy, really. So I'm delighted for Chris. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.